Hi guys, so welcome back to another video of uh, CP Bowling. Uh, I know it's been a while since um, I had a video up. Uh, I took a little bit of a break and uh, I also have a day job um, which uh, is at night, so I work the night shift. Uh, so I took a little bit of a break with family. We went to the beach, so please excuse this redness of Isco. I'm getting on beach now. Um, and uh, so I will be playing in my second tournament, which will be sometime in June. Unfortunately, hindi pa abot yung new ball that I plan to get. Uh, so I plan to get either a Roto Grip gem or a 900 global reality so yun yung two options ko another option is the storm phase two so the first two balls are asim solids so really strong balls and then we have a uh, symmetrical solid with the phase two um which should be a little bit uh less strong a little bit cleaner but yeah, so yun yung three options ko that I'm thinking of. I just want to buy one ball for now. I have a two ball um, carrier bag. Uh, I plan to get another bag na three ball and stick to a three ball arsenal. So my Trauma ER is already a, a uh, symmetrical solid. So I'm leaning towards the asim solid so either the reality or the gem so siguro availability na lang price wise um ten dollar difference lang between the two so it's either it's really more on availability um the gem is a lot newer or mas bago siya compared to the reality i think reality is around two years old and the gems about a year old uh, the newest one out of the SPI brand, um, or Storm brands essentially, is the DNA. But it's a expensive pa siya compared to the other two uh, if I will buy it by Amazon. So, yun, um, I'll update you guys. Uh, so, today we will be practicing. I noticed that when I was reviewing clips, is, uh, I have a tendency not to release the ball properly with enough revs. That's why... Uh, ang ganda ng line niya, but then kulang cool yung pasok because I'm not getting enough revs um, my release. So that's my focus today to practice uh, getting more revs or revolutions on the ball. Diba? Um, I don't know. Siguro yun yung piece of my release that I for have forgotten how to do. Um, I know how to direct the ball. Naman. My sparing is okay. Uh, it's just Probably in this, in this uh, center, Santa Lucia, because it's a sport shot oil pattern um, where it's very long, about 40 feet, um, and uh, very oily condition. Either I need a really strong ball or I practice how to uh, have more revs. Uh, so I release cost. So, so I'll see you guys. I won't film going there. I've yeah, I know you guys have seen it. I'll just uh let just get I'll just get back to you guys when I'm back on the lanes. Alright, see ya. Okay, so uh we we're able to get a lane. I just requested one lane long and then made tournament today in Roosevelton Bowling Club tournament. So medyo kailangan mapa bilis tayo. This is my first shot and really really bad shot. <laughs> medyo dumula sa kamay ko. Let's try that again, guys. So, I'm trying to line up on the second arrow. It's I'm just casually walking and then casually uh releasing the ball, focusing on revs. Um me really releasing it properly para makaroon ng revolution. So, just casually walking. And so you see the ball's hooking. So I, I'm happy to see that the ball's actually hooking, unlike no tournament na hindi talaga nag hook So here I'm trying to get lined up and see where um, it actually can line up to the pocket. So to, I missed to the right, but um, it was able to go back. So. Uh, 10 pin na lang. Here, let's try to get lined up again. Second arrow. 
in between second and third arrow on target with Ito here. Better shot, and that's a strike. So really good shot. Um, so yeah, so I think I got it a little bit um, on how to release it. Let's take a look and see. Oh, kaya pa. And yeah, another strike. Let me hit you with some cinematics. Hope you guys enjoy this video.
you guys I'm already at home I wanted to be able to review the the videos with them before I end this this episode today I really enjoyed that practice session earlier um, for a couple things one number one because I'm able to see the ball hook which uh, to be honest no last couple of practice sessions and also during the tournament the last tournament I joined it uh, was frustrating me and it got to my head so I, I'm happy to see that this ball actually hooks right? it's uh, more of my release that I need to fix which we're working on so some of the <laughs> some of the things that we worked on today number one the approach so uh, one thing I noticed was during the tournament when I uh, played that at the back of my head and also during the first practice sessions, medyo masyado mabilis yung approach ko. And uh, partly because uh, madulas yung uh, uh, madulas yung lanes, essentially yung approach. Um, so what I did was I changed the slider sole and the brake heel. So I used the uh, slider sole that has the least slide and the brake heel that has the most brake talaga. And you'll notice that I'm able to maintain my balance and um, I'm not, I don't feel I'm rushing. Yung parang hindi ako tumatakbo kasi yun yung feel ko eh. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm too fast for me to be able to release the ball properly. So that's what we did. Uh, with our shoes, right? So I'm happy. But lang we got bowling shoes that are that have interchangeable soles and heels. So that's a good uh, tip for you guys too. Another thing I did with my approach was I would usually line up um, a bit far from the foul line. I I didn't measure. Maybe I should measure in the next time now. But what I did was from the normal. Um, space where I line up I moved up by one feet but I kept a five step approach so what that does is mentally eh, babagal ka kasi you have smaller steps going up to the foul line so I kept a five step approach but I moved up by one feet um, and you see the results uh, a bit slower but better balance and I don't feel that I'm rushing right um, so that's the first thing we worked on. Second thing we worked on is trying to generate more reps on the release. So at the start, you'll see paka oh, feeling mo na yung bola. But that was actually, I think, better than the latter part because you'll see that I'm able to release the ball with a little bit more reps. Um, I still need to practice it, but. Uh, because I'm moving my hand a little bit like this and then yeah, ko lang. Dapat my your hand should be at the back of the ball more. Uh, like maybe this or this uh, release that I did. Um, really happy. didn't really focus on the scores too much. I really just wanted to focus on one the release, the approach. Because in bowling, the things that you can control are before the foul lining and then what happens after that would be the result of the things you work on with your body with your approach um with your release so we still need to practice um but i'm happy uh, to see that i'm able to produce more strikes um uh, i think if i average my scores around 150 160 still not there diba? but let's trust the process let's trust the progress that we're, we're even small progress guys I also need to practice my spare game. I miss a couple of makeables, but you'll see in the video um, I was able to make some spares. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, I enjoyed it a ton, although my face doesn't really show it earlier, but I really enjoyed it. And um, we'll continue to practice. I plan to practice weekly, so by next week I, I plan to practice again. Maybe I should practice earlier, but I don't feel like I'm rushing because I felt like I was trying to rush because of tournament. So maybe earlier, same same center, Santa Lucia, parin, so we get used to the lanes. We're slowly getting used to the lanes. So the 
approach, okay, medyo mo okay tayo doon. Um, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. It helps us out a lot. I want to thank those that have already subscribed. We have close to 675, 674, um, or 600, yeah, 674 subscribers as of today. Thank you so much, guys. Um, we'll con try to continue to produce quality content for you guys and share my thoughts but uh, it can help you guys out as well with your bowling journey. Uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!